Well, we are officially headed to the second central open of the year on Sam Rayburn. I know, I know. I'm, I've lived, on, or lived around Rayburn for a long time, and maybe it's not going to be as cool as the Clear Lake one, but we're going to bring you every day of action on Sam Rayburn. So this time, though, I'm going to try to bring you a really cool practice and travel video. After that, we're going to have some different days of Rayburn. Hopefully, we have another big bag of the tournament, maybe even a win and a way to the Bassmasters Classic. Thank you all for, for tuning in so far. Um, really looking forward to get this tournament started. Let's see what happens right after this. Well, I officially realized um, one of the very first things that I've forgotten on this trip was my cooler. Stopped to get gas right here by the house. Now I get to make a little U-turn, go get my cooler. Really important to keep your fish alive, and I think this event is going to be extremely crucial for that. So, got to have a cooler to have ice in the boat. So, there we go. Going right back to the house. All right, just got here to Rayburn. Somebody beat me here. His name is Scott Martin. Scratchy. Look at Born this. By the name of Scratchy. He's got that's, all. That's my. He's uh, all lit up. He's got. Yeah. This is a cool contraption. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, he's got his light hanging from a tree. I've been doing it as long as I've been doing it. You learn some things along the way. And this is one of them. You take a, uh, a, a favorite rod sleeve, wrap it through the branches. You do, a, you do a double bimini. The trick is the double bimini twist knot. Right there on the little legs of it. Perfect deal. Perfect. So, I don't know about all that. But uh, I do know, what I do know is I get here and Scott had an epic mess on this front deck. Um, he's restring. I actually feel like I'm not as prepared as he is right now. No way. Because he is literally restringing rods and we're the day before practice is starting. So um, official practice. So I don't know. This guy's way more prepared than I am. I mean, like, look at this. Look, look at all this. I just put up 37 rods, literally 37 rods. 37 rods, yes. yeah. Okay, I might have about that many rigged up, ready to go, but I didn't go re-spoil brand new line. This guy has been spooling line ever since I feel like I got here. Like literally Look packed. at this, look at this. What? I don't know if he could it's shut his rod locker. Packed. Well, I can't put any more in there, that's for sure. I wonder if he, like, I feel like that, what would happen to me if I did that is I would break my rods. Yeah. I actually have done that. <laughs> I broke my handles. Like, like, uh, and then you feel something crunch, and you're like, that's just never a good thing. Yeah. No, I just wanted to let everybody know that I, I made it here, made to Rayburn. It's only about seven hours for me. It's not very far. Really? Yeah, it's not very far. It's only like, what, 30 hours for me. Yeah, it was about 30 for Scott, you know. So did you, you flew though, right? Or did you drive? It was only drive? two hours for me. It was only two hours for you. So who drove? Was it McCoy? McCoy drove this truck. McCoy. Jacob okay. drove the other truck. I got you. Okay. Well, guys, that, that pretty much wraps up at least the drive-in. Had a little bit of an eventful day when I started off. Forgot the cooler at the house. Had to turn back around and go get it. I feel like, you know, fish care is going to be a big deal this week. I think it's going to be a huge deal. Water's still pretty hot. And sure I brought my cooler. Oh my gosh. What? Order one off Amazon. Yeah, he's gonna have to go order him one off Amazon. But I mean, I think fish care, I mean, if you get five fish a day, I think that's gonna be pretty good. I think yeah. a lot better than what people think. And we're talking about points, trying to make the elite series. Both of us have that goal in mind. Um, but another thing, I don't know if, if everybody watched, I imagine you did, if you, unless you live under a rock. But uh, I, I don't know if you saw this, but oh, oh Scott's running a Yamaha now. It's kind of weird seeing him with a Yamaha. I, I don't know what to think about that. I watched your video about like your yeah, release different. of your new motor and it's different, man. I mean, it sounds all good new now. All yeah. new. It's crazy. New, new, uh, new beginnings. New beginnings. Yeah, we it's started over that. on the on the new Bassmaster Trail. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a whole new season ahead of us now. New engine. There's probably gonna be some new new stuff coming too. Yeah, I think there is. Can't really talk about it yet, but there's some new new stuff coming. Looking forward to to seeing the announcements that are gonna be taking place soon. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Oh yeah. A lot of fun. 
Right, we just gotta get through get through this one and get yeah. on to the next one. Yeah, we just gotta make it. We gotta survive. This is a survival term. And you you wouldn't typically hear me say that about Rayburn, but Rayburn in September can be brutal. I, I think pretty much September anywhere can be early September anywhere in the country can be pretty bad unless you're fishing up north. Yeah. But well, we're gonna give it we're gonna give it hell this week and we'll see what happens. There's no doubt about that. But uh evidently I do need to up my my tackle rigging game. No doubt. I, I, yeah, it's, that's the only thing I'm good at right now. He, he's rods. really good at... Actually, what I might do is just have him start spooling my rods for him. He actually probably wouldn't even know that he was spooling my rods if I just laid like three or four right here. But like, dude, I think you should put 17 on there, you know, and just see if he'll spool one of mine up. All right, guys, we'll catch up here in a little while. All right, guys, day one of practice here on Sam Rayburn, kicking off the Bassmaster Open, stop number two. You know, this is one of those events that I'm really excited about. I really have any expectation right now. Um, I've heard the fishing's somewhat tough. I'm really excited to see just how tough it actually is. I'm gonna try to carry you along through this this journey of practice, because that's what it's gonna be like for me. I mean, been here a lot of times, used to live around here. Uh, the one thing about it, I know a lot of stuff, and I've only got a couple days to check everything that I need to check. It's gonna be kind of wild. It's gonna be kind of wild. So make sure you stay tuned. We'll see what we can find. Uh, might not show you too terribly much from practice, just for the fact that, like, I don't know. Uh, it gets a little boring because most of the time I shake off everything that I get to bite anyway. I rarely set the hook, and I know that's what you want to see is uh, those fish catches. And so I don't always do that, but make sure you stay tuned. I don't know what's coming next, but I bet it's something. Todd, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Looking for blankets. Why? Because it's cold. It gets cold at night, man. And I got these little. Oh, what is this? I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Was that like a snuggie? <laughs> Look, I mean, good. Dude, that is so. <laughs> Like soft, but I don't feel like it's gonna do much. I mean, what are you gonna do with that? I don't. I don't know. Are you gonna put that on? What is? What is this? Flat. Like this is. This will work. But dude, feel how soft that is. Feel it. Like it's really nice. Yeah, but it's like a snuggie. Yeah, well, it's a snuggie for my kid. You for your kid? <laughs> kid snuggie. God. Like, I was so excited, and then I got let down. Yeah. Oh, man. Todd's, uh, can't handle the cold air. We have it turned down to... Yeah, but man, like, it's, six, been, nine. it's been 90 all day, you know, 95. Like, I, I don't like to go from 95 to 69, 68. It feels really good in here. It, it does now. Fantastic. It, yeah, now. So Todd, what is your take <clears throat> on practice? Your first official day of practice. <laughs> I practiced yesterday, didn't I? What is today? Tuesday? Yeah. I practiced oh, I guess yesterday. you did yesterday. <laughs> and, and last week. <laughs> and last week. What's it gonna take? The self Call it now. the self doubt has set in. Yeah. The the doubt of knowing that that like okay, I know it's tough. And it's tougher than it usually is, and so we start getting in our head of like, this is this is the weight it might take, even though it, in the years past this is the weight that usually makes it. And then you just start kind of doubting that, like, man, I, you know, it's Raven, right? And they live out there, and there's big ones, and but you know, Raven has, has a good way of like being tough. And like being tough consistently for two days. That's the thing with Rayburn. You rarely see this time of the year guys be able to catch them back to back days. 
So I still think I think 32 pounds and you you shouldn't worry. I think 30 you're going to be like watching the way in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no. Like so you're going to be like, man, thinking. am I going to make it? And yeah. there's going to be a guy with like 30-15 and a 30-09 okay. and 30. But I think 32, I think 32, I wouldn't be too nervous. I'd be really excited with 32. Let, Seeing listen, how bad my first Everyone's were. like, man, it's Raven. People don't understand. 16 pounds. Like we fish um, triple T's. Yeah. When it was good. Yeah. Like y'all were catching, like y'all's oh, yeah. practices were good, and it still it it took sixteen pounds to get a check. And two of y'all, and two of us, and like y'all yeah. kind of caught in, in like oh well the next day y'all go out there and catch twenty something right, but y'all didn't catch twenty something by yourselves. You still caught twenty something, with, yeah, with Dude, both of y'all, and you got a yeah. seven, and like y'all probably had the twenty one, twenty two. But my point is, is Holman wouldn't have had that. Like, y'all needed both of y'all's. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, 16 and for two days in September, and they move. We've all seen it. Like, we're getting bites, but we kind of get them differently. Like, I don't think anyone can go out there and just be like, hey, this is all I'm going to do. Like, for two days, that's very tough to do on Raver. Yeah. I've right. seen guys do it, and, and they, they're usually leading the event. Yeah. But it's, I don't know if there's a, a pattern out there that's, there are, but I mean, it's very hard to do one thing the entire time. Yeah, so I'm not gonna do one thing all day. I mean, no, me neither. It's just I, there's too many good bot windows for other things. Right. And you, you kind of that's the thing. That's what makes this like this tournament unique is because Rayburn, you know, you could start out in the morning out deep offshore, and you know that's what makes that cool is like you you start out deep deep offshore, or you can start up shallow. Throwing a top water, throwing a big worm. Uh, I had a few bites first thing this morning throwing a big worm. And so one of the most important things is to, to find that perfect bite window for whatever you're doing, whether it's flipping, throwing a worm, cranking, whatever. So Holman, you uh, you had a couple tough days. Mm -hmm. You're starting to dial things in. What are you thinking? How are you feeling? Hey, we'll I'm not say. feeling dialed in. I'm feeling, uh, I'm feeling lost. I'm feeling... I'm feeling like I ran through a bunch of stuff and guys are still getting bit on behind me and that I didn't get bit on when I went through. I'm feeling like I'm glad I still got a half a day of practice till noon because Did you know I'm not very happy right now. Which one? And I also ran over the neighbor's mailbox. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So how did that happen? Uh, the mailbox up there in the street is trying to back my boat down so into the not house not and first. yeah, that left hand turn. Did they yell at you? They're not home. Their house is for sale. Oh, I know who's Toward the side of my truck is. and the mailbox up off the ground. So I did a pretty good job on that. That's one thing I did good this week because I tore up the neighbor's mailbox. But no, the fishing's been a, it's been tough. Um, I've had some bites. I mean, I'm not just completely crying about it. Uh, I've got some areas of doing some stuff that's a little off the wall, I think, maybe with some flipping and I just keep the flipping stick in my hand. I have not gone deep one time. I haven't, uh, I haven't tried try to change. I'm just going to keep the flipping stick in my hand for the next however many days I can stay here. You know, it's funny, Paul. When I went to Clear Lake, you told me one thing that you made a mistake with years ago in the Bassmaster Elite Series was you, you should have picked up your flipping stick, your confidence bait, more when the fishing got tough. And I think that's something we could all learn from is, you know, don't try to go do things outside of what you know how to do. The fishing's tough everywhere. Yeah, the that's, fishing's that's tough no I'm matter learning. what you're doing. The fishing's tough yeah. everywhere, and if you're doing what's in your wheelhouse, it's tough there too, but at least you can figure things out a little quicker if something does happen. When that bite happens and turn the light switch on, you see things much faster. And, uh, you know, and like I say to you yesterday, I had a couple of bites that really kind of clued me in. and. You know, I've, I've had bites for two days now because of it. Well, we got one more half day of practice. No, I wouldn't say a full day of practice, but we got one more half day. I have a feeling we're going to all be out there practicing. I don't think anybody's going to be staying at the house waiting. So, uh, yeah, we'll wrap up one more day of practice, and hopefully uh, we all dial it in. I have a feeling we all will. There's no doubt. I mean, we've got too many good guys here. So thank you guys for watching this long. Make sure you stay tuned. you sitting on his back. I bet he can't either. Yeah. Guaranteed. 
Yeah, probably not. What are you doing, Scott? Because I, I did it. Oh, I thought you were doing three minutes. And Mika- like, Michaela got on my back. I've done two. We had to do ten. I, I, thought, you were, I thought you were up there. Just You can do it. Like, no questions no asked. Like, I can barely do ten. <clears throat> I'm, I'm probably bench 250 or 275. Make sure you try this upper back. It's upper back. Upper back? Yeah, dude. Nah, never mind. This is... <laughs> 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 what about the I That was really weird. <laughs> it's so oh my gosh. All right, so we worked out. That was a morning workout. Two minute plank and the Billy push up. And Billy push up. Billy push up. He's about to eat a shad. A shad? Yeah. Billy. My. Hold on. That's my, I think I'm not, like, look at, what is that? <laughs> it's you looking at a picture of you, taking a picture of you. God, oh, he's got another piece of something flipped around him. Yeah, he doesn't like all that. Michael, open. Okay. He is mad. He doesn't like y'all. Y'all, y'all done made him mad. Drop it. I bet you eats it. Drop it. I bet you eats it. Drop it. He's not gonna eat it. Yeah, he will. Watch. He's gonna drop it. He's not gonna eat it. Hey, dummy. No, he might not. Get away, Michael. What did y'all do to my fish? He's been crazy all day. Get away from him. And he just even ain't shy. Oh, he sees it now. Look, he sees it now. Just get away from him. He sees it a reflection. Look, he can't figure out where it's at. Look. Oh, get ready. He's not going to eat it. Oh, he got it. <laughs> Told you. Okay. How many does he need to eat at night? Just one's good. Well guys, practice is officially a wrap. Wish I could have showed you more fishing, but I didn't quite want to give away everything that I was doing. But I can promise you one thing. After each day of this event, I'm going to post exactly what I'm doing. So I'm going to do kind of like my Clear Lake series. So day one, day two, and I really hope day three. It was a good practice for me. I had a lot of fun, found a lot of fish. I'm doing a lot of different things. You get to see kind of the behind the scenes of exactly what went down at Team SMC's house. It's a little bit different than what you're going to typically see. The tournament videos are going to be fire. So if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like. If you like my videos, just hit the like. As you can tell, I'm laying in bed. I'm exhausted. It is time to start the tournament tomorrow morning. We're going to get it done this week. I can promise you that. It's going to go down. Thank you for watching. Make sure you stay tuned. Check out my day one and day two videos following this one to see exactly how it does.